Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome once more to Plague Inc. Evolved with me, Lathrix. And today, we'll be doing a bit of a guide for the crow virus. First of all, I apologise, I do have a bad throat, so if I sound a bit croaky, that's why. Okay, in this method, it won't be the most fun, and it won't give you a high score. However, you'll almost always win. So this is for people who are having difficulty simply winning in Brutal. Creationist is very important, and this you don't really need, but I personally prefer Cytopathy Boost because we're going to be relying quite heavily on the actual virus itself. Shaun of the Dead. Someone asked me for a very long time ago to call it that, and so I am. Okay, let's begin. We're going to start in India, we're going to start in India because it's a nice place to start. Lots of people to infect, and in this one... Okay, so I'll now talk about why... what kind of mentality you need in this one. This way to win, really, in Brutal, again, it's not for high school, is that your disease itself can be an amazing thing. People always underestimate the actual virus itself. The necrovirus obviously kills people itself, and then reanimates them as zombies. Yay. Which is awesome. But, it'll keep on killing people even once the zombies have arrived. So, if you can infect more countries, the more people get become zombies. And thus, Brilliant, because we're going because, yeah, because we're going to water anyway, so that means they haven't gone down the cleaning air route, which is great for us. So, the idea is, infect every country, make sure almost everyone is infected, if not everyone is infected, and then begin to produce zombies. Everyone who dies will become a very crappy zombie. These zombies can't really do much, and don't even spread particularly efficiently. However, there'll be so many of them, it tends to win you the game. And places without Zcom will fall very quickly to this because because we have no combat advantage, so you'll get a lot of DNA very early on. Also, your disease will still be around, killing people, producing more zombies, and so we're actually going to get full resistances in both cold and drug, which means the entire planet will be infected, which is very nice indeed. Okay. Lovely, get some there, get, some there. get lovely DNA everywhere. Uh, we could get cold level 1, but there's no need for it yet. We'll wait until we can get drug level 1, and then we'll get drug level 2, and then cold level 1 and 2. In that order. Drug level 1 is now grabbed, that's awesome. That'll help out in France. Actually, it'll help out in everywhere, particularly if they reach the countries. So there we go. I was, I was having some trouble recording this earlier. I, this is actually the third attempt. Every time my FPS kept dropping to 1 for no apparent reason. I've restarted the whole computer, and now it seems to be working brilliantly. Had to do a few scans from probably malware and everything because it got me a bit paranoid, but nope, everything seems to be fine. Let's get cold level 1 because drug level 2 costs so much. May as well start to help out in the colder countries. Brilliant, just got into Australia. Once again, sorry for sniffling and stuff, I am particularly ill today. I'm trying to mask it by just doing a normal voice, but it's really not working. Okay, so, infect everyone, then become lethal. You get a lot of very bad zombies. You overrun the world. That is the basic concept we're going for. Now, symptoms. Which route do you go down? That's always a question I get asked. And I'll tell you. Later. Now, I'll tell you now. So, down the, the right route, starting with hypersalivation, you get increased infectivity, severity, and lethality. Particularly lethality and infectivity. This is great, because more people will die to your disease, and thus more will become zombies. Brilliant, right? Plus, it also weaken every country, to so destroy. However... This costs a lot of DNA. A lot of DNA. The left route actually decreases infectivity, costs very, very little, and gives you a lot of cure resistance. So it's really a matter of personal preference. Just remember, if you go down the right route, make sure you've got enough DNA to get down to zombies, otherwise you will lose the game once you've done it, because it will not kill enough to give you DNA per death per um, day. Also, if you get any symptoms, don't be tempted to grab this, because look, increased infectivity. Because it's the Necroa virus, they will instantly clash you as a high threat, even if you're not making zombies yet. And thus, the cure will go very, very quick. Which is not exactly what you want. Now, is it? Okay, we're in Iceland, which is good, because that's always a hard place to fully infect. We're hoping to get into Finland soon. There we go. Nope, that's not Finland. What did they grab then? Oh, uh, bloody Norway. I hate it when, they, when it gets to the very tip of Norway, because you can never tell exactly which it's infected. It, it could even be Russia. Okay, 20. 
nothing out of the ordinary going on right now, I think it's okay. You can, there is an argument to increase infectivity even further by getting this lovely one here. Because it is a very big infectivity boost. However, it's really not worth it, you need the DNA later on. Ooh, increased, de increased rain means humid countries are now even more humid, which means water is even more effective. Great for us. Most places have already become infected and we're still going pretty damn well. Uh, we are just going to wait for... Yeah, so really we need to wait until the entire world is infected, not just a few people. There we go, just grabbed Baltic States. The last time I played, the Baltic States actually became the um, Zcom capital and almost defeated me and I was really amazed by it. Because normally that becomes well, quite, quite infected quite quickly once it's been grabbed, but for some reason it seemed to resist it and defy all logic. So right now it is simply just a waiting game, which is a bit of a nuisance really, but you do need to save up DNA. We've already spent so much on resistances and, and the necrovirus does not give you much DNA at this stage because the zombies will give you DNA later on. There's the thing. Per death and per country destroyed you get a lot of DNA. <clears throat> a lot of DNA. So it kind of makes up for it later game. But for now, we need to have at least about 50 to 60 DNA saved up. And so, I'm not going to spend anything. Just waiting on... Oh, there you go. Got Greenland. Didn't even see the ship. There's the trail. So it's coming from Finland as always. Okay. Hmm, which is quite odd, because there was almost no infected from Finland. Got Caribbean. So I think it's Morocco. Oh, never mind. Anywhere else? Nope. So right now, the entire world is infected. I'm going to just go ahead and skip until the entire world is infected, because you don't really want to just watch me do this. So back in a second. Greetings, sir and sirettes, once again. Um, so this is what has just happened. We have infected most of the world, thankfully, but we have had a mutation. This will cost us seven DNA to get rid of, or we could just have it and save ourselves DNA for the symptoms. That's what we're going to do. It's also applied our hand, so we're going to go down the left route, because we've already gotten some there for free. So we're going to get fever, photophobia, and delirium. All of these mean that significantly slows future research speed. Exactly what we want. Cytopathic reanimation and then anaerobic resuscitation straight away. Now, there's the left and the right route here. And here's what you need to understand. The right route unlocks things which make you more efficient at fighting Zcom. The left route unlocks things which means you become more infectious to the dead. You can raise dead more often and you're better at killing civilians. I always go down the right route personally, but just for this time, I'm going, I'm, 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 going, I'm going to go down the left route. So where is it? There's one which increases zombies. There. Zombies attracted to movement and will abandon victims once dead. Prey more likely to remain intact and become a zombie. That's what I want. So, we're beginning to reanimate the dead already. Brilliant. And I've just found out our disease actually exists. A bit late, guys. A bit late. So, let's have a look how many zombies have... So, so straight away, the zombie count is going insane. Because most countries were, in, were either completely infected or very close to being completely infected. We are killing very fast. Of course, that's the whole point. Paranoia in Saudi Arabia. That simply means that um, nothing's going to work. They can't fund anything properly, so it's all being inefficient. See, see the disease does exist still, and we'll, and we'll continue to kill people very slowly, because most of that lethality is actually from these lovely things here, which is very, very small. But, so basically now, it's a race against time to kill as many people as possible, and Rihanna is dead. It did just activate in Greenland, which isn't really what we wanted, because Greenland's a bit annoying to get to, and straight away it grew stronger, because there's no one to really fight them. However, Greenland has a very small population, which means it's actually quite easy to, to fully finish them off. So what are we going to do? We could increase their severity, or we... Wow, that's a big severity increase there, Jesus. We could go with adrenal... Yeah, l let's go with adrenal surge, making them far more aggressive. That's the first thing we'll do. Authorities can't protect from them! Panic um, ensues. Brilliant. There you go, they're now far more aggressive and far more severe. Take that as you come. So you can see the zombie count now just going insane because of the upgrade. It's a very nice upgrade, I've seen it before. Severity. So down there is the biggest severity increase. Down to the right is best against Zcom. And to the left, 
to the fully left will increase the chance of producing zombies. Choose whichever one you want to, really. It's completely up to you. Morocco's been destroyed. That'll give us some DNA. Sorry about that. I had a random FPS spike then. And just completely died on me. So right now, what we're going to do is go down the... Yeah, do that. More likely to make them into lovely, lovely zombies, which is great. So now that'll increase our zombie numbers, particularly in places like Greenland, which does people who aren't infected. As you can see, most countries just got destroyed, and that's what I was talking about, the big boost at the end. So now we can increase severity extremely, and that will even give us... There you go, all that's all to do with severity. So now our zombies are very, very nasty. They have stronger teeth, stronger arms, and stronger pretty much everything else in the world. So as you can see, it isn't the most fun way, because you don't get to spread the zombies or anything, but you do get to do this at the end. Uh, let's see. Severity significantly increased again. Let's just keep on doing severity so we can destroy the world quickly and get more DNA very, very fast. We could now do some things against ZCOM, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So now we get on this route up here. Enhanced motor control, and straight away... Oh no, it's one after this. It's the one after Peptide Surge. Peptide Surge will also give you severity, but not as much as all the other grades already got. Oh, almost completely destroyed. Armed gangs raid ZCOM. <laughs> Losses sustained means I can't fight back. There you go, the world, I think, has just became full. Yep, done. Five stars! Sir and Surrettes, five stars. I wasn't expecting that. So that, Sir and Surrettes, is how you win and get five stars, apparently. So I hope you've had a great day, and I hope this will help you. So really, what I'm trying to say is this. Don't underestimate the power of your disease. Everyone does. Everyone thinks all the kills have to come from zombies and nothing else. The disease is actually a huge part of the game. And if you keep it there, as you saw, it will keep on killing people along with your zombies and keep a constant number of zombies being reanimated in every country. That is the mindset I want to pass on. That's the big thing I want you to learn from this. So I hope you've had a good time. I hope this has helped you. Um, if you feel uh, if it has please give me a like below it means the world a comment also means the world you can follow me on facebook for future upcoming events for instance i might be live streaming soon it's on facebook go check it out and you can always subscribe to me it really does mean a lot so thank you for watching and goodbye